welcome, welcome to the inner well. But the mind is so tricky, so monkey, that the mind goes here and there, jumping, jumping off. This is why the monkeys, they love to eat so much. What? Bananas. Banana is not a fruit, it's a vegetable for the monkeys. So they jump. And now more and more AIDS is coming from Africa. <laughs> not because they are black or Afro-American or whatever you call them. Because they eat so much bananas. And now banana and kiwi. Don't eat them. It's a small booklet called, But I Love Fruits. Just read it. It's by Macrobiotic, Michibushi and Oshawa. When you read that book, But I Love Fruits, it's okay. There are fruits that you can eat them and fruits that's not for you. Just be aware what the body is eating. I'm here to eat. Is this your life? I live to eat or I eat to live? It's your choice. So be ready to respect and love this body. This is my only home, my only car. Without this, I cannot pray, I cannot talk, I cannot walk. I thought, no, it's this body is not I am in the body. The body is in me, but it's a beautiful cup. Without the cup now, I cannot put this in my hand. Whatever you are drinking, it's better not to add food combination. Water, water, apple juice, apple juice, carrot juice, carrot juice. There are many books that are about medicinal juices. So also while eating, sit down so the stomach will accept, will receive, the body will be at rest. So today I'm going to take care of this body. The name of the body is Mariam Noor or John or whatever. We are all born nameless, but a utility. Don't be attached to the name with many titles, so all pebbles. So let's be aware of who we are. Yes, we can. Start with the first step. What's the first step? The body. The moment you came out of mama's home, womb, breastfeeding at least two years. The body knows. When the body you know, gave all this breastfeeding with a good mama, with a loving mom and dad, and all the time mama taking care of the baby, and the baby, you know, is the master. We are learning from the baby. He's a fresh Jesus. Came fresh, right, from this existence, from the womb. And then, watch out. What the baby is eating, it's what you are eating when breastfeeding. If you take meat, if you take chicken, if you take so much beans, he starts farting and screaming. So the best is to read a book. It's by Michio Kushi about child care, about pregnancy. You clean your womb and then you get the best baby, both of us, me and my beloved. And then we take care, we are pregnant and born again, another Christ consciousness. And keep taking care of the body all the time. This is my only, that's it, only home. So just read it, so simple. 20 molars, more grain, eight incessive beans, vegetables, roots, for canine, a little bit of cheese, if, 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 if it's good and you love it. Or a piece of white fish once or twice a month. But you don't need it either, you know. You eat sea vegetables, 
the fish, they eat sea vegetables. There are some fish, they eat fish, yes. It's nature. Some animals, they eat meat, some animals, they don't. Just keep reading. I give you a key, I don't tell you what to do. Nobody can tell you what to do. It's your body, listen to the body. Listen to your mind. You are the boss, not the mind. Be your own healer, your own doctor. Remind yourself that this is me, this is my body. Cancer is the answer. I created the cancer. I'm the disease and I'm the cure. I'm the patient. Be patient. Sit silently a few minutes a day, doing nothing. Take a deep breath. In, out. Oh, don't ask from which breathing here and there. And just do it by your nature or read about breathing. I don't read, I just read the book here about body and then the other books, you know, meet your body, mind and soul. It's a support, it's a companion to support this book. But the book of life is all what you see. This is a living book. Look at nature and just give yourself an hour a day at least and the second hour on the, the toy now, internet. Because the computer became part of the family. You know, the little boys came and said, Daddy, we have a visitor at home all the time with us, 24 hours. Where is this visitor? The computer. Oh, yes. And the computer has a wife now. It's called Internet. And the baby called printer. Tick, 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 tuck, tuck. And the baby, the real baby, is in my lap. And I'm doing this and doing this and doing this and doing this and hearing music and da da da. And the baby screaming, okay, take this. So our children, they are no more our children. The family is no more a family. We all go into delivery, delivery the baby, we deliver food, and they come home and they give you a massage. What massage do you want by a man or a woman? So this is what's going on all over the planet. And everyone knows I know my home. I know my country more than your country, and you know your country more than mine. But it's almost, you know, prostitution everywhere because television is everywhere. The same pain all over the planet. No matter what you do, you cannot efface it, erase it. So what to do? Be aware of it. That's all. Okay, I accept. I accept it and it's my choice. I want to be with this one or this one, this one or that one. It's my choice. Live your choices. Life is only a celebration. But what kind of celebration? What you see all over Lebanon to celebrate now. It's more pollution, more smoking, more killing, more, you know, flame and all this game, like there is a dark cloud all over the capital, all over Lebanon, all over. And if you look at your country, it's the same. So much cancers and more and more diseases and new disease because our body is weak. I cannot tolerate all this diseases, all this pollution in the blood. What to do? Fast. Doesn't mean don't eat. Fast. No junk anymore. No canned food and no soft drinks. If you have a good restaurant like the ones in India, it's amazing. You go there, no need to cook. In America, you have whole food places that 
masters are cooking there and organically, which is less poison than others. But the best food is by mom and dad and grandma and loving friends and at home. Now big homes, they have no kitchen anymore. Kitchen it, because delivery people. And all the delivery food that's in Lebanon has MSG, aspartame, all these words that create cancer. It is cancer in the food. Even in the diapers now, we have cancers. In many clothes, in many beauty shops, any cream you put on your face, any whatever, you know. You go to a drug store, it's called drug store. They sell in the drug store clothes and shoes and drugs and alcohol and all kinds of medication, which is anti-life, antibiotics. So, what's your choice? Life is only your choice. You live it. You enjoy it. Yes. Just look at yourself. You can only be yourself. There is no possibility that you can be anybody else. You can enjoy it and bloom, and you can wither away if you condemn it. Just be yourself and be grateful to all what you have, that gratitude. <coughs> so much now pollution because so many celebration last night, all kinds of pollution was in the neighborhood. And when you put the AC on because it's very hot, warm, all this pollution from inside goes out and it comes in. So the more you have so-called dust, the dust stays here. This is why we have Adam's apple, the dust, because sometimes he cannot talk, he cannot tell the truth, he has to serve the boss to say, yes, you are right. So what he does, <coughs> <coughs> he goes home and does this. <coughs> I cannot do it at the office because I have to be polite with the boss. And this is polititis. Discharges, get it out. Get rid of all the waste inside you. Yes, so beautiful. Judge ye not, otherwise you will never become one with the total. With fragments you will be obsessed. With small things you will jump to conclusion. Once you judge, you have stopped growing. Judgment means a stale state of mind. And mind always wants judgment because to be in process is always hazardous and uncomfortable. In fact, the journey never ends. One path ends, another begins. One door closed, another opens. You reach a peak, a higher peak is always there. God is an endless journey. Only those who are so courageous that they don't bother about the goal, but are content with the journey, content just to live the moment and grow it in, into yourself. Only those who are able to walk with the totality. That is the unity and the infinity. 